All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Thank you so much for joining me again on Topper Tuesday. Has anybody noticed that there's no more black dots? Nobody? Nobody noticed there's no more black dots? If you notice, nobody said anything. But regardless, what we have to talk about today here on Topper Tuesday is this. This up here is the Twisted Messes RDA. Now, this is a cloud chasing atomizer. This is an atomizer that was designed by a builder for other builders and cloud chasers to use. It does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. It's got loads of airflow, a nice big deck, but in order to get to know, yes, I said deck, filthy, but in order to get to know this atomizer just a little bit better, we're gonna go up close for a quick, short, uppy closey time. All right, yeehaw, let's spend a little bit of up close and personal time here with the Twisted Messes RDA. Now, the Twisted Messes RDA is a cloud chasing RDA from top to bottom. We're going to look at it from top to bottom. The first thing you'll notice, huge, huge, wide bore open drip tip. Now, thankfully, the Twisted Messes RDA comes with a bunch of other parts so you don't have to use this redonkulous drip tip if you don't want to. And right now, no, I do not want to. So it does come with that, screws on, it's all one piece. Thankfully, it does come with a different top cap and you can use a slightly smaller, and I mean slightly, I mean very slightly smaller, Delrin drip tip on there. If you don't like that, you can take this Delrin drip tip off. See that big open space right there? You can use this. You can use this little adapter right there and use the drip tip of your choice. In this case, it's the dot mod drip tip. Now that is much more reasonable than this, uh, in my opinion. Although it doesn't look like much, it does make a really big difference. So you'll notice that this definitely screws off. There's nothing internal. There's no internal airflow. There's no internal end with anything that could possibly mess up your coils or your build that you have in there. This is the airflow adjustment ring. And 10 times out of 10, juice gets in there. Juice gets in between these two parts and that will always annoy me. But there's the, ju there's the airflow wide open. You can close it down to two little holes like that or you can close it down to one little hole like that if you're feeling it. What I've been doing is just rocking it without that at all. No Twisted Messes logo, no nothing, no airflow. I just put this on this. That's how it looks. I think it still looks cool, and that's how I rock it, without airflow, just full open airflow. Because the build on here is quite, quite the warm build. Now let's take a look at the deck. So this is the build that Kent put on there for me. It's some fancy sort of parallel dual fused Clapton with I think 26 gauge paralleled with 26 gauge, but you can see big three millimeter holes in the post there for your builds. Squared off deck or a squared off center post nice deep deep juice well in there so when you're building on this and this was made by a builder for other builders to use you can be you can be liberal you can put a really big build in here and when you put your top cap on you don't have to worry about anything possibly coming in contact with your coils as long as you're within the inside of this deck you can even go to the edge here and still be okay you want to put some sort of giant caterpillar alien skin gargoyle hoof build in there go nuts there is plenty plenty of room all around up and down and again when you put this on Boom. You don't even have to worry about anything coming into contact with your build because it's all on the outside. My only gripe with the Twisted Messes RDA, besides the juice getting in here with the airflow. Oh, also there's a blue and a silver one. There's a blue juice or a blue airflow controller and then a, a silver airflow controller, but I use no airflow controller. My only gripe is these O-rings. These O-rings get just a little bit of juice on them. This top cap doesn't like to uh, doesn't like to stay on very well. It stays down. It stays on and stays mostly secure, but it's really easy to just pop off at a moment's notice. If this was connected to a mod and it was in my pocket, I would certainly not grab this atomizer to pull it out of my pocket because that would just uh, that would just come off. I think these O-rings are a little loose. They're a little on the weak side. 
nice big uh, protruding 510 connection on there. I would definitely be able to use this on a hybrid device. Nice big deck, nice airflow. This is the only build that I know on this atomizer. So my judgment of this atomizer is based solely on this beautiful build that Kent did for me. But thankfully, ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba, I've got another Twisted Messes RDA that I ended up putting a uh, dual coil Clapton in here. Uh, came out to... Uh, right around 0 0.19 ohms and so yes i've been able to build on this deck these big these big post holes are meant for big builds if you're going to build like a dual 29 gauge in there you might run into some problems these are meant for big builds big wires like i said this is a building atomizer this is a cloud chasing atomizer this isn't a dual coil 29 gauge canthal atomizer if you have thin wires you might have issues with those so that's the Twisted Messes, top to bottom. Comes with a little couple of options here. You can use this one, you can use that one. Does come with, oh, you can use this one too. Look at all this nonsense. It also does come with a baggie, bunch of extra O-rings, extra peak insulators, extra screws for the posts, an extra 510 connection, and then the hex key that you'll need to, uh, that you'll need to put your builds on there. So yeah. I'm going to use this one because the other one isn't wicked. This is a 0 0.19 ohm dual Clapton coil in here. We're going to vape this one. We're going to get back out to normal view and we're going to vape it. So yeah, that's the Twisted Messes RDA, up close and personal, and I said that I don't generally enjoy using this super giant stainless steel wide bore drip tip, but I'm, you know what? I'm using it right now. In fact, I'm using it with no airflow. So let's put an airflow on there to sort of uh, to sort of uh, complete the package, as it were. I generally rock it without an airflow. I just like the airflow wide open. It's huge and swooshy. And for the builds that I've been building in here that are really, really warm, having that extra airflow really helps cool down the vapor, uh, which is great. Who would have thought that more air would cool down your vapor? Uh, it's been fantastic. Like I said, my only gripes with the Twisted Messes RDA is when I don't put on the airflow correctly. Nick, you big dumbass now that it's on there correctly now there's no need to panic my only real gripe with the twisted messes rda are those bottom o-rings did you see how easily that just popped off it just they just slide on and off far too easily for my tastes which yeah i mean that's that's an issue if you're popping this off all the time and then you take your juice that's not the juice and then you take your juice and you're juicing up your coils like this, like you see the pro guys do. You go, yeah, and you look at your coils and you go, yeah, that looks good. And then you pop your cap back on. If you're doing that frequently, then weaker O-rings eh, might actually be helpful. For me, I don't like it. I drip through the drip tip and I wish the O-rings on the bottom were way, way stronger than they were. I also don't like that you get juice in between the airflow and the rest of the body of the atomizer, but because the airflow is on the outside as to not intrude on your build on the inside, then that's kind of just something that you're going to have to deal with. This isn't the only atomizer that does this. I have loads of atomizers with external airflows like that. The El Cabron used to do that same manufacturer the El Cabron used to do it you just get juice in there and occasionally I pull it off and just wipe the whole thing off and put it back together clouds I don't even know what to say hashtag clouds row clouds clouds for days on this it's just a huge airflow cloud chasing atomizer loads of airflow the flavor is eh, okay the flavor is fine it's not amazing it's not stellar it's not over the top this is a cloud chasing atomizer so what you're getting as the trade-off for more clouds is eh, maybe a slightly just just diminished little bit of flavor in there not a, it's not a huge deal again it's not a huge deal because i know that this is a cloud chasing atomizer so i'm not expecting the flavor to be you know through the roof like a kfon or a scrape or something like that it's completely completely different beasts I do like the interchangeable tops as well, if I could touch on that before we finish this off. I do like having the ability to take that off, and then, where's the other one? I, did I just lose it? Okay. 
Well, that's just great. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, I stuck it down in there? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I do like having the ability to uh, to switch out, uh, keep that airflow where it needs to be, to switch out the tops, and you can use, you know, just a normal style drip tip in there, or you can use the Delrin drip tip in there. I like using this blue airflow adjustment with a blue drip tip. I just think that looks cool, and I like things that match. It is what it is. It's the Twisted Messes RDA. If you're a builder, if you build these crazy coil builds that I can't do, then absolutely, this has plenty of real estate on the inside to do that. Nothing is gonna come in contact with your build and mess it up as long as you stay on that deck, which is a plentiful deck. Nice deep juice well as well in there. Loads of airflow, decent flavor, more clouds than anything else. That's what this RDA does. I'm gonna wrap this up before I just keep talking in circles but thank you so much for watching everybody and as always let's keep on vaping that's enough